Yeah, I mean, being key three, we definitely have an advantage to know what time we need, but I mean, I big cues only, like, you know, I'm always just trying to get top three, so that was the goal. Um, but, yeah, you know, it was kind of a weird race, went out slow, and then we kind of just worked it down, but, um, yeah, very happy to be in the final. How was feeling this season? I know just about a little less than a month ago, you had a few things. It's okay to have a coach or one of us out there, Jason. How are you feeling right now, and how fast do you think you can get the video to get ahead of the final? So to have someone like that. Yeah, I mean, I don't really care how fast we go. Like, I really just want to be compete, and that's, like, it's even even an odds winner at 418, like, like I think I was more you know, proud of getting four. Like you. I like competing uh, and placing high, but um, I think I'm in good shape. I don't. I think I'm in sub four shape, um, but yeah, I, I think it's all about competing on Saturday. Yo, what's been the biggest difference for you between the last year and this year? What do you think's changed now that you're losing the gradual racing? Why do you feel so confident right now? You, Brittany Borman. Um, I think it's a combination of a lot of things, but um, I just am like really comfortable in my own skin again. Like I. It's I feel like this, like the track and field world has gone, like, like when I first came out and I started using data and pronouns, it was like growing pains and I was going through it too and like now I'm like two years post that and it's like people in the sport, like people that I never thought would even know what that means, like get my pronouns like very consistently and it just, it's, it feels awesome and like training wise I'm just really consistent, I live at 7,000 feet now so it's a ton of things, like I think, you know, my training and then the confidence of, of just being affirmed in my gym. What did you really take away as yeah, positive from that that allowed you to continue to build with Justin? I'm curious, I mean, you exude that confidence and you seem um, like super relaxed, you know, just coming out here, even though it, you know, it's a USA Championships, right? Yeah. How does that kind of contribute to well, you still kind of needing to compete, but you, know, you just enjoying yeah. the time? Um, I think, you know, Mike, my coach was like, just be the one that has the most fun out there. And like, I really like, I really like that advice and like, um, yeah, like, I, I think it just, sometimes it's just fake it till you make it. Like, uh, confidence is like, sometimes it's just a show, but like, you know, you do it enough that it, it starts to manifest and be real. So, I generally just having fun out there and like, I love competing. Like, this is the fun part, you know, so, uh, yeah. <laughs> How long have you been with Mike Smith? Um, March of 2022. So, yeah, last year USA is like, I, I was really fit. It just, I think, from March to June to move full time to altitude, I think it just was the timing wasn't quite right to piece it all together. And now it's, you know, it's been over a year. And so, I think, I think it's all coming together at the right time. Thank you. And I know